Hey, what's up, guys? Kendall Rogers here in D1 Baseball Live from Omaha. I'm here with the uh, mayor of Omaha, the de facto mayor of Omaha, Kevin O'Sullivan. Nine times I was just talking to him about it. He says he, he, some, he doesn't even think about it. A, you do think about it. B, give me the top two or three places you like to go eat in Omaha when you're here, buddy. <laughs> Drover, the Drover, and the Drover. <laughs> I would agree with that. Um, so, like, just looking at the last couple weeks, we are just talking about just the craziness of the regional, the super regional, to go to O'Brate in that environment to beat those guys, shut their offense down, to go to Clemson with the wildness there to win that super regional. I mean, you guys are as battle-tested as battle-tested can be. Yeah, I mean, it started with, you know, with the Georgia series. You know, we had to win two out of three to get over 500, and we were battling both, you know, our, you know, our overall record and the yeah. SEC record. So, it started there and then went to Hoover and obviously played a – an outstanding Oklahoma State team and um, you know we were fortunate enough to get through that you know that regional and then obviously it was an incredible you know series against Clemson and the Sunday game was one of the more exciting interesting games I think I've ever been a part of. Yeah just kind of look at this team we could we could talk about Jack Caglione all day long I think we're all probably exhausted from Jack Caglione but just looking at your team Ashton Wilson the guy a young guy that you know, it was kind of given the torch and has really stepped up in some big situations. What's what's been the big key for his development for you guys? He just stayed he just stayed the course and you know, he's been a great teammate and obviously when you get your opportunity he just made the most of it. And um, unfortunately, you know, Ty Evans went down with the broken wrist and he was given an opportunity, but he stayed engaged the entire year and like I said, um, once he has opportunities, you know, he's been he's been outstanding for us. And lastly, I guess just what's the feeling with this team? I mean, we started the season Preseason, you know, top five. This is a club that you even said to me that you thought as the season went on you would get better. The, the pitching was young early on. This team has to feel a little bit like they're playing with house money to some degree just because a lot of people didn't expect Florida based on the last month to be here. Well, I mean, you hate to, you know, think like that. But, yeah. the, 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 but the irony of the whole thing is we, we lost some midweek games throughout the year and we put ourselves in that position. But the pitching was young. But if you look at game seven, you know, against Oklahoma State, we, we started a freshman in Clemente. He went three and a third. And then um, Frankie Menendez came in through two and a third. So we almost got six innings out of two freshmen who just improved. And uh, Liam Peterson has taken over the number one spot in our, you know, in, in our rotation. He's a freshman. And then, you know, you know, Luke McNeely gets the win against Clemson in, in, in the second game in the Supers. So we just had some freshmen you know, grow up as the season went on. And I felt like if our pitching can improve, um, then, you, know, you know, obviously we'd have a chance, and that's kind of what happened. All right, well, good luck the rest of the World Series, Sully. Thanks, Kendall.